peeps, this is Edo here for another Let's Play of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Here with me is Nightshade. Mmm, lasagna. We last left off uh, thwarting Von Karma and uh, finding out that that old kook is who we need to well, find we and he went missing. A, we technically got a guilty verdict. Technically, but and then we got saved. the judge uh, overruled that because Larry saved the day. We got saved by the butts. Now we are going to be continuing on, so let's go ahead and save. December 27, 2 11 p.m., Wright & Co. Law Offices. Mm. What was Mr. Edward talking about? A memory of a crime that I committed. A memory of murder. Do you really think Mr. Edward killed? I don't believe it. Not Edgeworth. Some painful memory has been troubling him recently, but he'd never take someone's life. Never. Nick. Yo, how's everyone doing? How what did you, you get think here? of my performance today? I had him swooning in the aisles. Huh, Maya? S swooning? Me? Oh, oh yes. I do remember feeling faint. Right on! <laughs> Tell me the truth. It was like love at first sight, right? Right, Nick? Huh? Huh? Me? I, uh, well, maybe my heart skipped a beat or two. I think you can do better than that. Come on. I saved Edgeworth in there, dude. Edgy. You guys should be bowing before me. Yeah, bow before your hero. Oh my god. Oh my god. Larry, you really helped us help out in the trial today. You did! If you weren't there, Larry, I'm sure Mr. Edward would have been found guilty. <laughs> but seriously, Nick, that bolt shop caretaker guy is pretty suspicious. Edgy ain't off the hook yet. Way to spoil the mood, Larry. Hey, I'm just a guy sitting in the audience, you know. From what I was sitting, Edgy seemed pretty... edgy. I mean, can you really know he's telling the truth about that night? Nick? I don't know. But... what I do know is... I'm going to believe in you two until the end. Us two? Edgeworth and... who else? You mean me, right? No. Nah, he means me! Right, Nick? Yeah. You, Larry. Not me? <laughs> but why you, Larry? <laughs> huh? <laughs> well, actually, yeah. Why me, Nick? <clears throat> Enough with the silent treatment! <laughs> oh my god. Nick, why do you trust Mr. Edward so much? I mean, he's changed recently, true. But when we first met, he was kind of a jerk. Don't you think? You didn't know him back then. Back when he wanted to become a defense attorney. Back when we were secret lovers. No! <laughs> I will not allow this. Wait, was that when you two were classmates? Yes, in grade school. They saved me. Miles. And Larry. They saved me, and I'll never forget it. That's why I became a defense attorney, you know? What? Hey, hey, Larry, what's he talking about? Huh? Uh, um, er, sorry, I kind of forgot. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Nick, out with it. I'm going to hear this story today, and that's final. Okay, okay. It's kind of a long story, so hang in there. It was the beginning of spring, fourth grade. I was on trial. A class trial. A class trial? You remember, Larry? Spring, fourth grade? Kid in my class got his lunch money stolen. Lunch money? Our, our school was really small. Every month, kids would bring in an envelope with money for lunch from home. Huh, I see. Anyway, this kid's envelope disappeared, with $38 still inside. Dang! $38 for lunch? 
You have to keep in mind that's the entire month. Oh, of okay, March. okay. I'm gonna say I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna say for <laughs> one lunch. <laughs> God no, dang! I mean, no wonder that, why they're poor. <laughs> yeah, but you have to keep in mind that's like what twenty days worth of food. Well, see, I don't remember. See, I remember in. So I, rem- like I remember. I remember. in a half. I I remember in grade school that we would just be given like. Like we would just see. I remember. See, I I lived. I've been in multiple grade yeah. schools. So I remember being in one where it was like my parents already paid for it, like through them. So right. then when I went, all I had to do was like put a pin number or something, and right. then it would automatically do that, and it'd be like, okay, yeah, you know, here you go, here's your lunch or whatever. I do also remember at a point where I had to pay for it, and I was just given lunch money or whatever, and I would just right. pay. It out of my hand you yeah. know so that's why it's just kind of it's just kind of weird that they that the kid has to bring an envelope and not the parent that's what's kind of weirding me it's out. a case by case basic like I for guess. me elementary schools i was basically going home to eat and oh, okay the first few years of uh high school before i moved was i was also going home to eat because it was literally five minutes away i see from the school and then, when I, wa- I moved and that was a different high school, I actually had lunch money and they, you were paying for your lunch. I see. All right, let's continue our work. Sorry to distract from this, but... Oh, <laughs> yeah, now that you mention it, I do remember that. I can see why you'd forget, though. You were out of school that day. Anyway, the envelope had been stolen during PE class. I was coming down with a cold, so I skipped PE that day. I was the only one not in class. So, they thought you did it? Yeah, the kids in class said I should be put on trial. Trial? So the next day, we held a classroom trial with me as the defendant. Oh, poor, poor Phoenix. You know what's cool? What? Uh, I did not see that episode yet, but that, that class trial is an episode in the anime. Oh, okay. I, I didn't do it. Guilty! Hello? He did it! Guilty! It was you! Give me my money back! You're such a meanie! Tell him you did it! Tell the truth! Tell us the truth! We're not gonna play with you anymore! Yeah, no more barring! Blah 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 blah! Oh my god, they keep going and going! Stop! <laughs> Stop. Give me back my 50 cents I lent you! Now, Phoenix, you know you shouldn't steal people's money. It's not right! But is that Phoenix right? Even the teacher thought I'd done it. Apologize to the class, Phoenix. I I didn't know what was happening. I was so sad. I couldn't stop crying. Everyone was staring at me like I'd done it. I tried to apologize. I went over to where the boy was sitting. That's when it happened. He shouldn't have to apologize. The only thing that belongs in a trial is evidence. Anything else has no place. You should all be ashamed. Amateurs. I, I like how you started sounding like normal edge work and then you sounded more kitty as you go well, on. Well, it was kind of hard to go with the voice. He's mostly a kid, you know. I only have very few kid voices. Let's be honest here. I mean, you got Twink. I, and Denver. He, he's not that high of a voice. Let's be honest here. The Niles? Look at that swagger. It wasn't you who stole my money, was it? No. Then you shouldn't apologize. Everyone's been shouting you did it, but no one has any proof. That is why, Your Honor, this boy is innocent! But, Miles, it was your money that was stolen. Yeah, yeah, you did it, here's one! What do you need proof? Make a silly story! Why don't you all just shut up? There's Larry. What what what? Well, this is always how it is. Everybody ganging up and pigging on one person. Just think how he feels. He said he didn't do it, so he didn't do it. Hmm. Very well. I will replace the money myself. This class trial is over. And that's how it happened. After that, the three of us were always friends. Yeah, I had no idea either. I mean, I forgot. That's when I learned what it meant 
to be alone. Totally alone. Not a friend in the world. You did a good thing, Larry. <laughs> yeah, well. I was just lucky that I took the day off from school. If I'd been there, they would have thought I'd done it. <laughs> so I took kind of personally, see? When something smells, it's usually the butts. Anyway, Edward and I talked after that class trial. That's when I heard his father was a defense attorney. I remember his eyes would shine when he talked about his father. We couldn't pick a different picture. No, no, it's, it's <laughs> we the couldn't... image. It's the image that is burned into Phoenix's like, mind. Like, could we not make another image where we that no, no. limited? No, no, you don't understand. This is the image of Phoenix's childhood hero. I guess so, but still. I'm going to, <clears throat> I'm going to become a defense attorney, just like my dad. A famous defense attorney. Then, a few months later, he suddenly transferred to another school. The Dale Six incident? Right. I'm not sure. The transfer probably had to do with his father's death. That's so sad. It was several years later when I heard Edward's name again. There was an article about him in the newspaper. The headline was something like, Dark Suspicions of a Demon Attorney. Fabricating evidence, manipulating testimonies, covering up facts. The article said he'd do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. <laughs> but why? What happened? I mean, that's not the edgy I used to know at all. And that's what I thought, too. I tried to get in touch with him. I don't know how many times. He never replied. I guess he didn't want to see his old friends. I couldn't just drop a throw. I wanted to meet him. To learn why he had become who he became. That's when I decided. Uh, wait, you don't mean... That's why? That's why you became a defense attorney? To it's meet Edgeworth? That's, that's kind of a stretch for a career choice. That's called romance! <laughs> no, it's not! Come on! Why? Come on, really? Really? No. Jesus Christ, dude. To become an attorney! To become a full-fledged lawyer! You have to think about this, because becoming a lawyer is not easy. Yeah. You have to go through all that schoolwork, and even then, you have to take a bars exam, which you can only take what? I, if, if I'm correct, because I used to have an aunt that tried for that, could only take it like twice a year. And if she didn't do it, that was it. She had no more chances and you had to wait until the whole next year to take that exam again. So that's why I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is just ridiculous that he went through all this just to see him. Why do you think I pair these two so much? <laughs> I mean... Uh, uh, it's but I much, digress. It's Let's too continue. much into the other game, so I'm not going to say anything. If I was a defense attorney, I knew he'd have to meet me whether he wanted to or not in court. Edgeworth believed in me, and I believe in him. He's in pain, and no one's on his side. I'm the only one who knows the real Edgeworth. I'm the only one who can help him. <laughs> Whoa, Nick. S so, is that why you helped me out for free? Uh, yes. I helped you because I believed in you. Except I don't remember saying I do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, Nick! 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 We have to save Mr. Edgeworth if it's the last thing we do, okay? Right. It very well may be. First, there's that rental boat shop caretaker. We need to find out who or what he is. I settled what? for who. I guess I can clean out some of this evidence I no longer need. Okay, okay, let's go. Garbage. So now, we move? Yeah, we're going, we're going to hunt for answers and ice cream. December 27, Gord Lake Park, entrance. Hey, Pop! 
Long time no see. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. Close one today, hey? I got so worked up, I snapped my tie in half. Uh, sorry about that. No prop, pal. Thanks to you, we know, we now know who really did it. You mean the boat shop caretaker? Look, I'll make you a promise. I'll have that scoundrel in my custody by trial time tomorrow. Come what may. It's my duty to you as a police officer. Police. He said police. <laughs> <laughs> A police officer. Now, I'm huffed to catch the criminal! Away! <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. <laughs> Away! Away! <laughs> Detective Gumshoe sure is active today. Away! <laughs> oh, what was our take? No one can go into the woods today. The woods? Where Lotta was camping? Mm. The woods are off limits to camping. And apparently the park ranger found out. He's pissed off, and he got a shotgun. <laughs> he got pretty mad. No one can go in for a while, unless you want to get shot. I guess Lotta's in a lot of trouble. God damn it. Pops! Anyway, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Away! <laughs> so now we're going to where? Public Beach? I mean, then... we can. Oh god, now what? December 27, Gord Lake Public Beach. Huh? The steel eyesore is missing. Eyesore? Looks like the hot dog stand is closed too. I guess Larry's been too busy with the trial to show up for work. Yeah, I guess, I guess we can go with this. Boat rental shop. December 27. Boat oh rental shop. Oh my gosh, shop. your voice went like... Bleh. Yeah, that's because I was about to yawn at the same time. Uh, that was weird. I know that feeling. That old caretaker got away. Yep. The dick. <laughs> what never, a dick! <laughs> I never imagined he might be the real murderer. Oh, really? Uh, uh, <clears throat> I know that. No way. The throw anywhere. That might be Crossburg. It's yeah. Crossburg. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Hello. What might you be doing here? Out for a walk? Hmm? Ah, uh, the days of my youth. At the scent of fresh lemon. You is know, he? he's much less of a dick in the anime. <laughs> yeah, he's it kinda is. He's actually more likable. Mr. Grossberg, this is another time for idle reminiscing. Mr. Edward's trial ends tomorrow. Uh, uh, that is true, yes. But from what I saw in today's trial, Edward should be fine, right? Well, I'm not so sure about that. Oh, ho! What do you mean by that? Well, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. If you find anything out, come by my office at once. I may be able to offer you some assistance. Thanks. Away. Bye. What did you? What do you think, Mr. Grossberg was doing here anyway? Who knows? Can we go in there, or? I think we can. Yeah, we can. We can go into shack. December 27, Caretaker's Shack. Hmm. Nobody's home. Ow, ow! What? Fair sure that was you that did Polly <clears throat> last time. Yeah, it's me. Hey, it's Polly! I wonder where your owner's gone, Polly. Ow, ow! Squat! <whistles> I can't believe he'd run off and leave his poor parrot to fend for herself! Ow, ow! Squat! Can't do anything, huh? We can actually do something. Safe? Yeah. Nobody's going to stop us now. That reminds me, Nick. Polly here knows the number to the safe, right? Yeah, that's right. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. Squawk. 
Let's open it, Nick. Come on. I'm sure there isn't any money in there. Aw. <laughs> but hey! He keeps it locked, right? So there must be something of value in here. I'm not so sure. Okay, Nick, let's see what's in there. I guess there might be a clue or two. The only thing in here is a letter. A letter? Aw, oh, boring! Hmm, there's no name or signature on this thing. It's handwritten in very precise, clear letters. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Edgeworth! Nick! Why would Mr. Edgeworth's name be on here? How should I know? I'm going to read the whole thing. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. It also says this is your last chance. Now is your time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. The rest of the letter goes on to describe the murder plot in detail. How to kill Robert Hammond and frame Edgeworth. Calling Edgeworth out to the lake, getting on the boat, firing twice. This is exactly what I figured out today in court. It's all here in perfect detail. What do you think it means, Nick? I don't know, but it looks like these are instructions for that caretaker. When he killed Robert Hammond and called out Edgeworth, he was following instructions. But, but who could have written that letter? And what does it mean to get revenge on Miles Edgeworth? Look, I don't know, okay? But one thing's for certain. This letter is an amazing clue. Uh, now we get out of here. Shall we go for more? Do we go to Ghostburg now? We could. We could also stop at the police department. Oh, we true, true, check true. The detention center. That's that's our choices right oh, now. Oh, one sec. We're gone. I'm just laying out the options while one you sec. are navigating in this annoying navigation uh, system. Wait, is it detention center or the detention criminal affairs? Detention center, criminal affairs, and I guess we can only get to Grosberg by going to the right and cool offices because... Well, let's Limitations. go here first and see if something happens. Okay. December 27, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Hmm, looks like Detective Gumshoe hasn't gotten back yet. Gumshoe? It won't be coming back today. Oh, really? He said there was some guy. He had to arrest by tomorrow. Boat shop caretaker. And then he yelled, away! He shouted something about catching him if the last thing I do, pal. Away! <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, this isn't the place. Uh, so I'm gonna assume I have to go to right to go to Grosburg. Yeah. One day left, Nick. Yeah, I know. Well, no time to waste. Let's get going. It's stupid that I have to go here to I go guess to Grosburg. I guess we could talk to Maya now because it's no longer Larry, but I don't think it's worth anything. Nah, we'll just go to Grosburg. Grosburg. December 27, Grasberg Law Offices. He never got his painting back. He's out. Again. God damn it. When does he work anyway? Now, now, don't be harsh. I guess we'll have to come back later. Detention center, go! All right, detention center, bam. December 27, detention center, visitor's room, in front of a handsome man. <laughs> you look as grim as always. <laughs> um, Mr. Edward, I heard the story about the class trial. Class trial? What do you mean? You don't remember? No, I don't. Your lunch money was stolen, wasn't it? In fourth grade? Lunch money? Oh, all right. Yes, I seem to remember something like that. Nick... I think you're the only one who really remembers. Well, it probably only really mattered to me anyway. Mr. Edward, didn't you know? That trial was the reason Nick became a defense attorney. Mm. Ridiculous. Gee, thanks. Yeah. That said, it does sound like the kind of thing you'd do. You haven't changed a bit, have you, right? So simple. To a fault, even. Well, maybe, yeah, but I think you changed too much, Edgeworth. Perhaps. Hey, Edgeworth. Why did you become a prosecutor anyway? 
You used to look up to your dad. You said you wanted to be the defense attorney, right? I couldn't let myself deny reality like you. What do you mean? My father was taken from me, and you want me to defend criminals? I'm sorry, right, but I'm not that good of a person. One suspect was apprehended in your father's murder, right? Yes. The man trapped in the elevator with my father. His name was Yanni Yogi. Smarter than the average bear! <laughs> he had to be the shooter. Any way you look at it. Yet, he was found innocent. A defense attorney got him off the hook. You know, I'm still... I'm still questioning this because technically he admitted he did it, but in in case of insanity, that should not be considered innocent. Yeah, I guess that would be Robert Hammond. On that day, fifteen years ago, the three of us were trapped in the elevator for five hours. When we were rescued, we all suffered oxygen de deprivation. I lost all memory of the murder. Lost your memory? How airtight was that elevator? Even now, I can't recall what happened on that elevator. That was the crux of Yogi's attorney's argument in court. He claimed Yeni Yogi had been not sound of mind due to the oxygen deprivation. Yogi was released due to a lack of evidence. Innocent. That's when I changed my mind. I started to hate defense attorneys. What's your relationship with Von Karma? He's my teacher, and a man who deserves respect. That's right. I learned everything I know of courtroom techniques from him. So, he's like my sister was to you, Nick. He's a perfectionist in all things. Also in right. In court, in his personal life, he's obsessed with doing everything perfectly. Perfect. Perfectly, huh? In all the cases he has taken on, none were left unsolved. And not one suspect was declared innocent. Ever. As it shall be. But, but that's... I know. It's possible some of the suspects were indeed innocent. Poppycock. <laughs> However, it is impossible for us to accurately determine that in every case. All of our karma does is his job to find a suspect guilty perfectly perfectly right in any case it's nigh well impossible to find a weakness in him should a weakness appear he would do everything in his power to make it go away i'm that good <laughs> <laughs> um edgeworth if what you're saying is true you're headed for a guilty sentence tomorrow he's right Now's no time to praise the enemy, Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm. It's a strange situation in which I find myself, I admit. No kidding. Now what? Well, we shall take a break and think of our options. And then All come right. back stronger. So in the next episode, we will continue on this investigation. See if we can find Grossberg, because he kind of disappeared again. And, and he just said that we should just go to his office. To right. What a loser. <laughs> this is Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, with me and Nightshade. Yes. And with that, we are out.